What's up guys, my name is Michael and in this video we're gonna talk about all the disadvantages of Capture One. Now some of them might be new for you, others are quite obvious and I'm quite interested in your opinion so make sure to leave a comment. Now first of all there is no HDR stitching. You can create an HDR image out of a single RAW file but you cannot combine multiple exposures into a single image. Second, there is no panorama stitching. So for all of you taking lovely panorama shots in landscapes or whatever, you cannot stitch them together. There is no editing protocol. So you cannot see which steps you have been doing while editing your photos. So all you can do is undo and redo. And you know, these are things that are maybe minor issues for some people, but there are some major issues and I'm going to talk about them right now. So first of all, you're going to have to deal with a very, very good image quality. You know, that is something that you have to get used to because usually you like to buy new lenses in order to increase your image quality or get a new camera or a bigger sensor or something. And that makes it quite hard to justify new gear to your wife. Next up, you will have to decide whether you want to get a subscription or a full license. So that's something that um, Adobe does really well because they don't give you any options and you just get the subscription. So I wish Capture One would change something here because, you know, it's hard to decide. And I also really hate the fact that some people use Capture One for free. You know, there is the Capture One Express for Sony, for Fujifilm, for Nikon. I don't get it. Everybody is supposed to pay, right? And I really hate that color editor. You know, that color editor gives me way too many creative possibilities. I mean, I've already taken the photo. Why would I bother with a color editor? I mean, I enjoyed Lightroom's color editor because it's that simple and it doesn't give you a lot of options. Maybe Capture One should consider reducing its functionality. Oh, and by the way, who needs layers? I mean, come on, I can use Photoshop. I mean, export an image, go to Photoshop, open it, work in layers, save it, go back and go on. So why would I need layers in a raw converter? I don't get it. And while I'm talking about layers, there are way too many masking options, you know, the gradient, the radial mask, the luma mask, and a mask that I can paint by a brush. I mean, who needs all that? When you start using Capture One, you will also hate the export functionality because you know, they put way too much thought into it. You know, when exporting images, I can export multiple formats at once and all the image get sorted into their own folders and I don't like that because I want to sort them manually you know click drag and drop I like clicking on my mouse and they don't give me that opportunity so everything goes too smooth in that regard oh yeah and we need to talk about sessions and catalogs why do we have sessions at all I mean there is the good old catalog why don't we use that? I mean, the session is way too easy to use. And you know, when I put a photo session on an external hard drive, it works on my iMac and it works on my laptop as well. And I don't have to reassign all the images because they changed their location. And I really enjoyed doing that. So sessions, I'm not quite sure. And tell me who invented this customizable user experience and front end. Why do I need to remove some tools and why do I need to rearrange them? I think it would be better to see all the tools all of the time. 
And I would also really prefer if Capture One looked exactly the same on your computer as it does on mine. Have you ever tried the auto adjustments? I mean, you know, they work way too well. And whenever I use that, all of the images look amazing. And yeah, you know, I missed the chance of editing these manually. So I wish they would remove this function. And since I'm using Capture One for tether shooting, I also ran into some financial issues because the tethered shooting works way too good. You know, it doesn't crash, it doesn't take time to set up. And since my photo sessions go through much smoother and quickly, I cannot charge the customer as much as I used to. So where do I get my money now? Have you ever tried the color balance tool? You know, as a video editor, I have always enjoyed using that. And I wish this feature would stay in the video world and would not be accessible for photographers. So why do we get this tool in a raw converter now? So, well, yeah, as you can see, I cannot really recommend Capture One at all. So see this as a warning. If you have considered to get Capture One, please be aware that there are quite some issues. If you're still not convinced, make sure you use my discount code down in the description. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments what you think about this video. <laughs> Bye.